Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the heart of Audi Motorsport. Welcome to Neuburg an der Donau. Here comes Lucas de Grassi. And we've got a pass. Yes. From Lucas de Grassi. Really electrifying start from Daniel Abt. Watch for the yellow highlights. He's already down the inside. Daniel Abt takes the lead. Berlin E3 is underway. Oh, oh, oh that was close. Oh, oh, and there's Grassi again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a move. And we go green in Buenos Aires. Degrassi covers the inside line. Lucas Degrassi it is who has held the lead. The champagne is sprayed. He goes straight to the crowd. It's victory for Degrassi in Mexico. <laughs> Straightforward manoeuvre. It's victory wow. for Lucas de Grassi here in Montreal. Oh. Side by side of PK pushing de Grassi. There's no love lost between these two. Lucas de Grassi is the Formula E champion. Cannot be more proud of my team, of my sponsors, of Audi to be the 2017 oh. world champion of Formula E. It's just an amazing feeling. I mean, that might only be a two, three minute video, but that tells a very long journey. Blood, sweat and tears, a lot of emotion. And it was great to see the end there. Obviously, Lucas Degrassi winning the season three drivers championship. Um, but just wanted to quickly welcome you all because you've all traveled. Well, some of you have traveled quite far, some of you not so much. Um, so thank you for everyone here to coming here today. Because, of course, we are launching something very, very special. Launching the Audi Sport Ab Schaffler Formula E team. Um, now, I think it's very appropriate that the first person we get up on stage to talk about why, why Audi are joining Formula E, is a member of the board for technical development at Audi. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Peter Mertens. Hi, Peter. Hey, How are you? you? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's official. This is happening now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but very exciting. It is very exciting indeed. Um, I think we should probably start off with the big question, really, that everyone wants to know why. You know, why have Audi decided to now officially have a team in Formula E? Well, I think it's very clear. It's a very, very interesting series. And it's obviously a different series than all the series existing. And it's uh, important for us to be part of this electrification effort, not only on, in our engineering and on, on the road, really on the tracks. It's going to be the future and we're going to learn a lot. So, and it is very exciting racing. I mean, you touched upon there that the future at Audi is electric mobility. I mean, how important is that now for the company? Well, it's one of the you know, big growth areas. We are in the midst of starting a, a big program in terms of electrification. We're going to launch the first vehicle, a full-size, uh, European full-size SUV, um, the e-tron next year with 500 kilometers range, beautiful car, really starting at the top of uh, you know, the line. And then shortly after that, we're going to have a, a sports spec uh, of that variance. And a year later, we're going to have the next car. And there's more and more and more and more to come. In 2025, we're going to have like, you know, significantly more than 20 electrified variances, which of 
at least 12 uh, battery electric vehicles. That shows how important electrification is for us, but it also shows how important it is with Formula E and those kinds of uh, you know, activities to really learn and get ahead of the curve. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, Audi have had a very long history in motorsport and a lot of success, particularly, obviously, in the World Endurance Championship, you know, no less than 13 Le Mans wins. Um, but let's just take a quick look at a video of how that transition has taken place and ended up in Formula E.